Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, y'all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jehovah. Hallelujah. This is hot praise in the morning. Amen, amen, amen. Of course, on LUTG Radio, the only one. Amen. All right, y'all. We're going to begin with some uh, morning scriptures, amen, like we do every day. But first, I wanted to read you this poem. And the reason why I wanted to read you this poem is because I was watching an event, uh, a praise event with uh, Juanita Bynum yesterday. And, uh, oh, God is opening doors for her. Uh, the producers, uh, or the owners of uh, the Word Network, loved what she was doing so much because it had such an impact. Um, that they extended her worship another day. So she'll be on today, tonight at 7 o'clock. But what she said was, this is what reminded what she said reminded me of this poem that I had written. She said, raise your hand. And, and the thought uh, that was coming to me, she was like, don't just sit down, stand up. And she said, even if you're handicapped, raise your hand, raise something. Don't just sit there. Move about. Give God worship. Praise Him. And she was telling, and she was talking about uh, living for God and, uh, you know, moving uh, on His behalf. I mean, praising Him and thanking Him and, and, and just letting Him move in your life. And uh, being for real, when you say that you're a Christian, when you say that you love God and you pray, praying, and she said, no, no, no. Don't be sitting there on your knees. It's time to get up and pray and move because uh, America needs prayer. America is in trouble. And it's true. It's true. Um, so here's a poem. And this poem can actually apply to many nations. Uh, you still, you got the Ukraine and you got the airplanes falling out of the sky over in China, uh, over in Asia. Um, so anyway, uh, here's the poem, and this is out of my uh, poetry book called Reunite Me With My Breath Once Again, Twelve Breath of Life. And it's uh, breath number seven, it's called Light. And it goes like this, oh, remember, this is copywritten, so you cannot copy this, you cannot reproduce this. In order to do that, you must ask me for permission, alright? And you can uh, contact me at uh, 858-848-6186. Uh, know that there is a fee. All right. Here we go. Light. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. Loosen the ring of torment that encapsulates my body. Make free an arm I can raise as a sign of praise. Let my legs move at my will. Wrist steady to lift my own weight. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. New eyes I can see, smooth new skin, free of grease burns, and belt marks, skid marks of fingernails fade my hairless epidermis, to see the regret of wrong turns on my tattered feet, cute short hair, not enough to draw in the gaze of scattered love, O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. I hear the wind. On the blows that stole the bird's chirp at my window sill. Lust tip that rolled around in my ear. No promise of the next hour. Definitely no tomorrow. 
wisdom of no age, just unloved, not coached. Before me, baby and me, bid I not be. To opposites bittersweet, lift the confusion of it all. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Obscurity has no veil. Arrows pointed at my heart. Fellows gorge my unrest. Pungent aroma fills my breath. A glimmer stands in the back of my mind. Smoke of incense fills the halls. A name I am, one you call. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. Amen. And you got to look at that because what she was saying is no matter what's going on in your life, you can praise him. And you should praise him. Because it's when the when you praise him is when you get deliverance. When you worship him is when you get deliverance. And your food comes through the word of God. So she was saying, shout it out, praise him, worship him. No matter what's going on, you need to worship. You need to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Lift your hands up. And she was saying, basically, don't be lazy. Just get up and... And so, even if she's like, even if you cripple, there's something, there's something you can do other than just lay there. You have to invigorate yourself. You know, like David, he encouraged himself. He kept encouraging himself, and David did some crazy stuff. And, you know, he just kept encouraging himself. So, even if you cripple, and you, see, when you, when you have an injury to your muscles and you cannot move them, in your mind, you can still move them. And when you when you get rid of that thought that you that you cannot move your arms anymore, you've defeated yourself. So whatever part of your body that you cannot move, you got to tell it and tell your mind it works properly. And whatever part that you're able to move freely, raise it, lift it up. Even if it's just your eyelids, lift it up and say to yourself, in the name of Jesus, I walk. In the name of Jesus, I run, I stand, I talk, I hear, I speak, I see. See, this poem is about all the different, all the different difficulties that people have in their life, and there's many more that I didn't list, but these cover a wide range of problems and issues that people have, and sometimes people let their issues break them down when they should. Praise God and let God do the delivering. Amen. Let's get our scripture praise on most definitely. Most definitely. You'll find these scriptures uh, in uh, on Facebook. Amen. On Facebook. Praise the Lord. Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Put yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Zechariah 9 and 8. I will camp around my house because of the army, because of him who passes by and him who returns. No more shall an oppressor pass through them, for now I have seen with my eyes. The Lord's Prayer, cha uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And remember in verse 14 it says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. All right, y'all. Amen, amen, amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John three sixteen and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved mark 9:23 hallelujah jesus said unto him 
if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. John fourteen twenty three, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. Galatians three thirteen and 14. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Accursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. John 14 and 10. Do you not believe that I am in the father and the father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen, amen. And here's the part where we go into grace and mercy. This is the grace and mercy that God has given to us through salvation. Exodus 34 and 6. And the Lord passeth before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. See, God's grace and mercy has always been. Even before we knew Jesus, even before we were able to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior through a proclamation of faith, God was always saying, just believe. Psalms 86 and 15. But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. Ephesians 1, 7 through 8. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest anyone should boast. First Peter 1 and 13, Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Micah 6 and 8, He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. That's Matthew 5 and 7. Luke 6, 36. Therefore be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. 
First Timothy 1 and 2. To Timothy, a true son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. The following is First Timothy uh, 1, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And this is about stay, about Christians staying in faith, staying in the order of God, and never fearing. The only fear you should ever have is called reverence, and that's giving holiness and praise unto the Lord. Trust God with every issue that you have, every circumstance. When you go out preaching the gospel and telling someone about Jesus, have no fear. If they tell you they don't want to hear it, say, thank you. Thank you for allowing me just to speak to you. God bless you. And shake the dust off your feet. See, you've planted a seed by just simply telling them thank you. You plant a seed when you tell them Jesus loves you. Because someone else is going to win them to Christ. But don't be angry. Never get mad. And never let the devil intimidate you. Never, ever be intimidated by the enemy. Not ever. See, God will never tell you to hurt anyone. He'll always tell you to love. That is his very strongest and first commandment. All right? Here we go. 2 Timothy 1, verses 1 through 18. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy, I mean, the verse 2. To Timothy, a beloved son, Grace, mercy, and pre- grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. When he says, I am persuaded, he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jehovah God. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But share with me in the sufferings for the gospel, according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began, but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death, brought life and immortality and immortality to light through the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles, For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Hold fast the pattern of sound words, which you have heard from me in faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. This you know, that all those in Asia have turned away from me, among whom are Phagilus and Hermogenes, Hermogenes. The Lord grant mercy to the house of Onesiphorus, for often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he arrived in Rome, he sought me out very zealously and found me. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord. And that day, and you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. He's also telling him, telling Timothy, Timothy, come and give me a report. See, 
reporting to the apostle and to the pastor and to the leadership over you is a part of the order of God. God keeps order and he wants us to know, he wants us to share what's going on in the world in regards to salvation. So whatever God tells you to tell uh, the body of Christ and to tell the ministers and the preachers, then you do so. Because God was, he, he uses his people and he uses his servants and he uses those that he sends out. But when he gives you a word, you must give that word to the person that he told you to give it to. Don't hold back that word. So he, if he gives you revelation, then give it to them and say it as he said it. Don't put any the extra anything into it. Just let the word flow. Let God do it. His words will speak to them and reveal everything that they needed to hear. Amen. Amen. We receive the blessing of the Abraham covenant and the promise of Jesus to do more than he because Jesus went home to the father. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We shall keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord. Every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord. For every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. As Moses was 120 years old when he died, his eye was not dim nor his natural force abated. As Moses was so full with good health, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Hallelujah. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now, the hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. You, For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. That's right. You, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world. The one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath. Going forward and not backwards, the beloved and assigned to God, we count it all joy when we go up against the giant. 
We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God, and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us, his people, health and healing, and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, amen. Here's something you can say, and know this is from the Word of God. When you are in a storm, I love this, I use this all the time. It's a reminder for me. John 14 and 12, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and he says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. That is a great prayer confession. And that is, that's an assurance from Jesus. He said, look you guys, we're in the home stretch. You can do this. It's kind of like being a coach of a of a baseball team, a football team, of any team. And their team is down to the last few minutes. They're down to the last quarter. And he's saying, give it your all. You can do this. You know why? Because I've coached you. And I've taught you everything that you've needed to know. Everything that you, you need, I've already given to you. And I'm going to give you even more. All you got to do is believe. He's like, I won't be on the field with you. Not physically. Not, I won't be in every step with you. But in, the, in your heart, I'm with you. My words are with you. He's like, I'm going to send you a comforter, the Holy Spirit, and he's going to be with you. I'll see you. And my words will return to you to remind you of the things that I taught you. Just believe. And that's what he's saying. Just believe. So your prayer confession every day is not just the things that we've just said here. But it's the word of God. It's everything that is in you. He is alive in you. This is the reason why it says, I will never leave or forsake you. It's because he's on the inside of you. The word is printed on your spirit. The word is in you. The light of God is in you. This is why though God says, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. You cannot hear without an ear. And that ear is the spirit of God that's on the inside of you. It's the word. He's on the inside of you. Amen. This is how the Holy Spirit is able to lead us into salvation. And we got that coming up for you at the end of each segment. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Let's kick it off with some music. It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. the way it sounds. Him, yeah. Oh, if you love 
Only you can purify my heart. Only you can make me whole. Only you can speak and there be peace. Only you can calm the storms. Only you can satisfy me. You look beyond my faults and saw my needs. For the rest of my days. I'll give you the praise, oh Lord. Only you can satisfy my soul. I know it's only the power of the Lord. If you know it's only the power of the Lord, begin to lift your praise to Him. Come on and say, only you. Only you. Satisfy me, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's about the time for the altar call. For God so loved the world, amen. Todos mundo, Moon, is it mundo? <laughs> for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that 
Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus already paid the price for you, beloved. And he's offering salvation to you free of charge right now. It's free. You ain't got to do nothing to earn it. You can't pay for it. For by grace you have been saved. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And uh, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Understand that. And know this, that once you receive Jesus Christ into your heart, you'll be a new creature. Amen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You become new again. All your sins be forgiven. Never remembered anymore. Amen. It's a free gift. Receive it today. Come in agreement with me. I don't know where you are, but put your hand over your heart. Repeat this if you can. But come in agreement. Let God know. He He judges you by the intent of your heart. So let, let's, let's make that intent good. Lord, I want you in my life. Amen. Here's the prayer. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's a commitment, Jesus. I will get this word for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find the church, get baptized at water, take your foundation classes and your prayer intercessory class. Remember, LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Go there, click on the church, find a church. Begin reading your Bible every day, starting off with the book of John. Amen. Follow me to segment number two, which is my peace and birthdays. And remember, you can call, call and chat with me. We're going to uh, have a couple subjects coming up, and I want to hear your opinion. Dial 858-848-6186. 858-848-6186. You can also call direct, amen, if you are in Chicago, you can dial 773-598-8900, 773-598-8900, amen, 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 and in California, 858-848-6186, now you can call me from anywhere in the world, the number works, amen, 